I don't know the lyrics. Hello, my favorite people. What are we doing today? Today, we're unboxing my SOS vinyl. It's been a minute since I gave you guys a vinyl unboxing, and I apologize. I completely forgot that we're doing that series. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. So much content has been dropping. So many people have been saying they're releasing albums this year, including my girl, SZA. <sighs> Speaking of which, everyone keeps saying, Favor, react to Saturn, react to Saturn. She dropped a new single, react to Saturn. We already did. It's on Patreon. She performed it at the Grammys, and I did a whole Grammy reaction to like Billy, Dua, SZA, all the things. So if you want to see that, go over to Patreon. But for today, as I said, we're unboxing SOS, which in my opinion, Control is better than SOS. However, SOS is still a bomb ass album. There are some songs that were on repeat for a minute. Um, and yeah, there were, oh, oh, damn, no, there was a specific song last summer that really was like my mantra for the year. It was the one that's like, I'm betting on me, let, let me find it, because Conceited, that song is everything to me from this album, maybe even more so than freaking Kill Bill, but anyways, here we go. Subscribe when you're here, like the video, get ready for all the reactions coming this year, starting with freaking my girl Ariana Grande, which she is also somewhere on the vinyl wall. She's dropping an album, Internal Sunshine. But today, we got SZA. I don't even know if we've unboxed freaking Control. First of all, the Tims, her kind of just sitting in the ray of sunlight coming onto her face. My God, the jersey, the vibe, just everything about this vinyl. The cover art is beautiful. But again, there's um, three sides to it, four sides to it. So you got, how do you have four, four, what? SOS, Kill Bill, Seek and Destroy, Low Love Language, Blind. Use featuring Don Tolliver, Snooze, Notice Me, Gone Girl, Smoking on My X-Pack, what the fuck? Ghost in the Machine, Phoebe Bridgers, I still can't believe that that even happened. Three, F2F, which is also a bop ass rock song. Nobody Gets Me, which is a heartbreak. Ooh. Conceited, special, too late, far, and then four. Shirt, open arms, which is featuring a man we will not talk about. I hate you, good days in my mind, can you shut the fuck up, forgiveness. And yeah, those are the four sides of the album. Again, bop after bop after bop on this freaking album. Let's get into the unboxing now. I paid freaking $34 for this album, and it was worth it. I also think there's going to be someone who's going to comment, Favor! Where's the Guts vinyl? Why haven't you bought an Olivia Rodrigo vinyl? Why are you pocket watching? Why are you vinyl watching? It's coming and it'll come when it comes. I'm literally moving like two weeks and then I will have more desire and drive. Mommy already kind of damaging it. Jesus Christ. Um, I'll have more desire and drive to buy more vinyls. I still, I don't even think Doja Cat has a vinyl yet. So I got to figure out that situation and how to cope with that. I have to get Beyonce's Renaissance. Like... I have to freaking get Ariana Grande's new one, Eternal Sunshine. Ugh. I'm trying to be so delicate with this. Oh, and then people always say you need to keep these little stickers. I don't know why. Apparently they're like collectible. So I'm trying to preserve that. There we go. It smells clean. Like new. All right, here we go. Uh, already off the bat, let's see. Okay, there's a whole bunch already right there, but let's see what's on the inside of the vinyl. Not a damn thing. Okay, so the package is just a package, but you have other stuff. Oh my God, look at that. This is something I would freaking wear. This Blue's Clues ass outfit. The loafers, the, the collared shirt. I'm even wearing something similar to that right now. The collared shirt. I love the fashion. Oh my God. Where was this? Is this like a diving board or what is this? A yacht in the middle of the ocean? And then again, the face card, the light, the makeup, all of it. The vibe of SOS is just amazing, which in case you're trying to look for my reaction, in case you want to reminisce, it's not on YouTube anymore. They blocked it, babe. It'll be up on Patreon. But no, this little poster is so cool. Oh!
Remember this from like the preview of shirt or snooze? One of them, I don't freaking know. But no, this is just like all the publishing rights and stuff, but the image is so cool. I love this poster. I, w I even like this little outfit more than that one. This one gives New York, this one gives suburban, which y'all know I'm a suburban black girl, but I like this. I wish this was the cover. This is a vibe. It's beautiful. All right, and here we go into the bread and butter. Because I was wondering, how the heck are there four sides? Babe, that's because there's four different vinyls. There are four vinyls to this one album, which makes me want to like fist fight Taylor Swift. Because why do I have to keep buying a new vinyl every freaking time you want to drop a, a, a bonus song? Be for real. If SZA can give me two vinyls in one package, if Johnny has four apples, why the fuck am I spending $150 on Taylor Swift? Get it together, Taylor Nation. Y'all are pissing me off with that capitalistic stuff. We're off topic. But you see what I'm trying to say? Like, if you want to give me the vinyl, give me the vinyl. But don't make me try to have to keep buying a vinyl. Like, she put all four sides in one package. What if SZA would turn around and said you have to buy a single vinyl for all four thingies and did some stupid stuff like that? It's so annoying. <sighs> anyway, I'm just irritated. Let's open this up. It looks like it's just a black record. Oh! Is this normal? They've, like, engraved it. I don't know if y'all will be able to see, but it's like, there you go. You can kind of see. There's like numbers and letters engraved into my vinyl. Who the fuck did that? Is that how they all are? I don't remember my other ones being like that. We've done a few vinyl unboxings. It looks like someone took a key to the record and like scratched into it. Let's see if the other one. The, yeah, it's on this one too. And the centerpiece of the the LP is just SOS SZA with some of the bops. And the inside is just white. Okay, so Miss Girl gave us two records and a poster. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything, but I mean, is that it? No spazazz, no, no like little booklet, no letter. Well, there you go. Again, I feel like it's okay because this outfit alone makes it worth it to see her in this little outfit. Like I feel represented, not just because SZA is like a soulful black woman, but because the fashion is giving. But anyways, guys, let me know what other vinyl you want me to unbox next. You guys obviously see the vinyls I have in my background, Ooh. but I also have, damn, I also have literally all these down here too. They're just not on my shelf and I plan to get more. So if you want me to go through more of my collection, just comment down below which vinyls you want me to unbox and I will be happy to oblige. Thank you for watching. If you made this far into the video, comment favor. You are a suburban black girl and I will heart your comment. I appreciate you. I love you. I will see you in the next video, which will most likely be Ariana Grande's Eternal Sunshine album reaction and then the music videos that drop with that. And then we have to get into um, Taylor Swift, I think, and then Beyonce and then Lana and then freaking Megan the Stallion and then Billy and then Olivia Rodriguez. I don't, so many people are dropping albums this year. Look forward to the content and subscribe. And if you haven't yet, check out the vlog channel too because I'm playing Roblox over there. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.